Hey guys, welcome back to Mo's Game Table. Today I'm going to take a look at an accessory for terraforming Mars. Uh, one may say a vital accessory for the player mats are one of the biggest problems in the game. Let's push this aside and I'll demonstrate here what I'm talking about. You've got your player mat and you've got your... Oh geez, I just moved them and now I, what did I have? Did I have four? Did I have three? Did I have eight? Did I have five? Did I have ten? Ah, uh, I don't know. That is a problem with this player mat. And, you know, a lot of people complain about that. And it's a, a legitimate uh, gripe. So, what are you going to do? Best thing to do is get yourself an overlay. And one of the best ones out there is the one from Board Game Boost. This is a nice acrylic overlay that uses the original game board and just snaps together. You put it together in about maybe seven, eight minutes at most. And you know, you can just easily take these cubes instead of sliding them all over the mat, you can just put them right inside the acrylic overlay. And that's it. It's as simple as that. And it isn't going to move around. That is the beautiful thing about this. And obviously, this isn't going to slide across. It's going to be stopped. This is a really fantastic and easy to assemble acrylic overlay from BoardGameBoost.com. When you get them, they're going to come in just like this. They're going to be nice sheets of acrylic that are covered. And you've got these slots that you can punch out. Everything punches out very easy. As you can see, that came straight out. Uh, you'll punch those out. And this neat little thing on the side here, they've got this. Uh, BB, a board game boost, right? And what you do is, where there's a little notch, you're going to punch it out and you're going to, it's going to give you the ability to start peeling off the sheet, this protective sheet. When you do this, uh, the videos implore you to, and I agree with them 100%, to use uh, some gloves. So definitely get yourself some, uh, you know, go CSI and get yourself some uh, nitrile gloves. Use those and you'll be able to slide this all pull uh, pull this all apart and assemble it very quickly this one is going to be harder than this one obviously because of all the pieces this you pop these out this is the the these are the pieces that are going to hold this together on the side let me dump everything out here so i can flip this over these pieces on the side here that you see right there those are these pieces here and they come with a couple of spares so if you break one or you know you get a little too aggressive and you snap one or you just uh, it doesn't work for some reason it doesn't fit in a slot you can always go to another one which is a nice uh, addition and these also have that little BB break off piece that you just pull uh, and then you can pull the uh, backing off very easily and this one uh, is because of the you know the slots that are opened up for the resource cubes this is going to be a little more difficult uh, not that it's hard, but it's going to be a little more, you're going to have to pay a little more closer attention when you're pulling this off. And you're going to pull off over from this side where there's more space, but then you're going to slide it across as you get into these thin little uh, areas, you're going to run it, you may run into some problems. And if you do, have this with you. You get an X-Acto knife, you're going to slide that slide right under it and you're going to be able to pull it right off because that is one of the big keys obviously you don't want to use a fingernail because you're going to have gloves on anyway you may be able to get it still through the glove with the fingernail but you're trying to keep your fingerprints off of the acrylic so that way you don't mess it up and get your oils all over it as you're trying to snap it together because then it'll look ugly uh, if you do it with the gloves then you can handle it afterwards it's easier to handle on the sides and then you can just wipe it down if you need to clean it and that is a look at the acrylic overlay from Board Game Boost for Terraforming Mars. You can go ahead and order those through the Etsy store, which is, uh, you can actually find the site through BoardGameBoost.com, and you can check out his YouTube channel where he explains everything to you, the assembly of all of the components uh, for the different uh, items that he uses, the accessories that he creates. Uh, these are just really well done. I, I'm really impressed with it. And uh, not only is there a little bit of branding here on the bottom, but this is actually part of making sure you're setting it up correctly. Because uh, if you face it straight up, you know that you're you have it correct. If you have it on backwards, or you ha you see the logo backwards, then you know it's incorrect. So it also serves a functional part of the setup. But I put this thing together in, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. So uh, most of it is just spent popping these pieces out and then peeling off the backing. Once you do that, 
Uh, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is take these pieces that we talked about before, you pop them into the bottom piece, which is this, and then you'll take this top overlay, you put the, obviously you put the player mat inside, you don't want to miss that. You put the, uh, the, the overlay on top, and then you just snap it in individually and you're good to go. And that's all there is to it. Like I said, less than 10 minutes. I think if you do four of these, you could probably be done in probably about 30 minutes because you'll speed up as you go along. But that's a look at the overlay, the acrylic overlay from Board Game Boost. If you're interested in it, check out the website and uh, you can place an order through the Etsy store. I definitely recommend it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you next time.